wait until you see the awesome find from the Goodwill bins. And you'll see footage of this, actual footage of this in a future video. But right now I'm just gonna show you it and tell you a little more about it. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, I picked these up at the Goodwill bins and they are absolutely incredible, but they are TLC, well, most of them. Uh, this one is in pretty fantastic condition. Um, the bunny looks adorable. Somebody has made these. These are artisan made. You guys, I think these are those little um, poppet beads for like poppet necklaces now that I'm looking at it. How cute is that? And you know what? I have some that I just recently got. So maybe I can stick one in the one that's missing one. But somebody has handcrafted this. It's artisan made and it is stinking adorable. Um, so that one is pretty much good to go. This one here has a little bit of um, some marks on the face. Now, it's sort of flocked. I did not attempt to clean this. I'm not going to attempt to clean this. I still think it is darling. Um, I'm gonna bring these items to whatnot. Um, I think I'm gonna bring them to my Sunday show. So you guys, I am scheduled for Sunday at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I will link it down below in the description if you guys wanna come hang out. I'm gonna be doing jewelry and this and that, vintage items, all kinds of stuff. I would love for you guys to come. If you use my referral link down below, you're going to get $15 to shop. If you're already on whatnot, you can find me, Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase. I don't know. Um, it looks like they, you know, they've just embellished this with some jewelry and it's just really cool. And then they put this little Easter bunny in the middle. This one's in decent shape. It could use some fixing up, but it's missing one of the little poppet beads on the bottom. So I said I had some poppet beads. I think this one will work. I'm going to put this as a replacement and I'm going to be bringing these to um, auction Sunday also um, along with some of this other vintage jewelry that I have here. I also have a vintage crafters bag which is full of really cool stuff. So I hope to see you guys Sunday night. Okay, I added it on. It's not perfect. Uh, the color is a little bit different, but you know what? it stands. So that is good for me. I'm super excited that I had some of those downstairs um, and I didn't sell them before I found that. So those are all coming to my whatnot show, including the poppet beads. I will sell separate. And I am going to have a bunch of crafters jewelry coming to whatnot because I have been going through tons and tons of jewelry and I have a lot of crafters stuff. So that'll be coming to whatnot as well. So I'm thinking I will sell these um, and somebody can put their own spin on them. This egg probably had something inside of it. It's missing this one as well, but you can see they have used costume jewelry to decorate them. Not in the best condition. This one's different. Um, it's just, I, I don't think this is as old, but let me just show you the different eggs. And then I'm going to take you over to eBay and we're going to look at some different, um, vintage artisan made pieces that people have made. And this is how you can repurpose vintage jewelry that is broken. Isn't it a cool idea? These eggs are amazing. This one has, I don't know if that's a brooch or what it is. So there's that one. I don't know if these are broken brooches or if they're glued on, I have no idea. Um, but I'm just showing you what I have here. So these all came out of the Goodwill bins. I saw them and I was like trying to find them all. I searched and searched. That little turtle is missing a little gem. That's something where you could put a, pop a little gemstone in there. It's got the little giraffe and it looks like it has a G on this side. So um, let's look at the other ones here. This one just has this, but I think it's really beautiful. Um, I, I just love the detail. Now, this is just an idea for you crafters out there. Me, I'm not so crafty, but people can do amazing things. And these are great little, um, little Easter eggs. This one has an issue with the brooch. So somebody has repurposed it. Look at the little uh, pins that go all the way around it. And the sequin, just how cool is that? I just love these. So 
Again, I will bring these to Whatnot on Sunday night. If you guys are interested, I will be bringing them. Um, these three, I would say I'll probably sell together. And then I'm probably just gonna sell this as a lot as well. So there'll be two separate lots. All right, let's head over to eBay and look at some big money artisan made bolo items. Okay, so I am in solds on eBay and I have it filtered by artisan egg Easter highest first. And this is a dollhouse Easter egg right here. And this one sold for 199 and the next two are actually mine. Uh, you guys probably saw these in another video. Um, and the funny thing was I have had these listed for over a year and I wasn't getting any traction and Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger and uh, Toy Attic gave me some keywords to change in my title and the items sold. Uh, I guess this is supposedly an artist that is in Florida now, um, originally from Ohio based on the feedback that I got from the person that purchased them. Nothing is marked on these so I just am going to go with leaving my title as is because I cannot prove that it's the artist. But um, anyway, I have one more listed. So dollhouse miniatures are definitely, definitely a bolo. Um, let me uh, pop off here and see if I can find something that's more similar to what I have listed. These are William and Son Sonoma artisan handcrafts, handcrafted alabaster eggs. Alabaster eggs can definitely be a bolo also, but you guys, if you can find that vintage dollhouse furniture, oh my goodness. Dollhouse smalls can do really, really well and are definitely a bolo. Okay, so let's look at some more artisan made stuff. All right, so here is another thing that does really well. This is a really cool set. Um, somebody has just put a whole bunch of really cool vintage items together. Um, keywords that you're looking for like chenille, um, are the pipe cleaners and people make crafts out of them. And these are Easter picks and I have sold these before. I have done really well with them. Typically I put them in lots kind of like these people did and they sell, they especially sell better around Easter time, but they can sell after Easter. So when people ask me, do I list Christmas and Easter and Halloween all year long? The answer to that would be yes. Um, I do because people will purchase these items all year long. So this is just to give you an idea of some different Easter things. And you know, prices are going to vary depending on age, condition, and all of that good stuff. Okay, so on this one, I typed in Artisan Easter. And again, I'm not going in and verifying any of these. I'm just showing you high solds. And again, the big money thing is these dollhouse. You can see I use the word chenille in this because these are chenille pipe cleaners that these little dolls are made out of. And same with this one right here. And I have one more available that looks like this one, but the egg and this little piece right here are different. And my eBay store is linked in the description if you guys want to check out what I have listed. So it looks like most of the artisan pieces that are going for big money are dollhouse items. So if you guys are crafty and know how to make dollhouse stuff, you might want to consider uh, maybe trying it, giving it a shot because these items are super cool. And I'm guessing that most of these are by special artists or they are vintage and no longer made. Looks like Ray Dunn, huh? has little Easter bunny canisters. How cute's that? I don't know why it says artisan. Artisan collection, okay. So just some things to be on the lookout for. Cute, cute, right? Very cute. Okay, so not a whole lot of things that were similar or exactly like what I have on eBay, but definitely some bolo items for you guys to look for. A lot of the items are going to be bread and butter also, like the Easter picks, but the more you have, the better they can do. These little guys are super, super cute. I adore these. Uh, I wish the condition was better on this one, and you can see right here. I didn't try to wipe these down at all. Again, they may clean up a little bit, but look how great 
he looks. And I believe these are just styrofoam eggs. I'm assuming they're vintage, but I really don't know. So um, I know these are made with vintage, you know, jewels and stuff. And some of the jewels could have popped off. They may have been embellished more. But, I mean, I did dig these out of the Goodwill bin. So, they were shuffled and ruffled and moved around. But this is a great crafter's lot. And, again, I will be bringing this to Whatnot on Sunday night at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the link will be down below. Thanks for watching.